very clandestine. How's it going, guys? Fair business, Spice. Welcome back to Let's Play Call of Duty Ghosts. We are at Atlas Falls, and we are actually caught up. I have never completed this mission. I've only started it. So, everything from here on out is blind. <clears throat> oh, snowmobiles. I'm like, woo, snowmobiles. These guys are driving a little bit, a little bit too fast, though. So. And it's like, whoa, what's going on here? Well, we're underneath the water. The crazy thing is, is like, isn't this water like negative 5,000 degrees or something? Very cool, though. Very cool that we get to use the Navy SEAL gun. This, uh, this whole scene, uh, reinforces, like, the whole, um, well, my hypothesis that the go the ghosts are, uh, actually SEAL Team 6. Because, in multiplayer, the ghost outfit is called, uh, Dev Group, which is another name for SEAL Team 6. Which is, like, uh, along with Delta Force, it's, like, the United States' uh, top, uh, you know, number one priority, uh, Special Forces, uh, unit. I can barely see my red dot. And that's probably the last time we'll ever use that gun, I imagine. Unfortunately. Uh, so we're here, in Antarctic, fighting some Federation dudes. Trying to make a distraction, apparently. I don't know why we're making a distraction. I think we're trying to uh, hit their main uh, ICBM facility. But we need to hit this oil rig in order to get there, or something like that. I don't know. Some kind of distraction, I heard. I feel that this mission is kind of stalling, though, because I feel like... Um, we could have just gone straight for it, but who knows? I'm, I don't know where the plot's gonna go on after this, so we'll see. Uh oh, helicopter! No more helicopter. Oh, my second gun. Ooh. Yeah, PP, K6, PP. Oh, ow, ow, ow! Oh crap! Take it back! I don't want it. I appreciate your gift, but this is not Christmas yet. Going on here. On, I'm over here. Oh, oh, I just ran. What is this? Oh, grappling hooks. Pew. Woo. Whoa, super Navy SEAL style. Or maybe, like, I don't know, Batman style. There we go. That's all I was looking for. Da -na -na -na. This is pretty cool. A lot of like gadgets and doodads in this game like, compared to Modern Warfare 3. And I know that wasn't the most recent Call of Duty, but it was the most recent Infinity War one. And I never played Black Ops 2, so. It didn't appeal to me, to be honest. It looked like Battlefield 2142. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, where, where is. Oh, yeah, I see you. I'm running out of ammo with this thing, surprisingly. I think I used too much ammo in the beginning. Oh, thank you. Go get in there. Take him out. That's my boy. Even though he threw a grenade at me in episode 6 or 7, whatever. It was episode 7, yeah. Okay, wait. Are there any guns here I can take? Because I'm going to run out of ammo eventually with this. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh my god. Well, how are you liking me? Aha! Idiot. Oh, that's why I have this. Oops. I'm gonna go back and get my pistol because I'm a big fan of pistols. See, the thing is, you know, I, I'm gonna sound like an old geezer here, or like an elitist, but like, the people who didn't learn to use pistols in Call of Duty 4, I feel like. 
they became severely disadvantaged in the newer Call of Duties because, well, the newer ones when they came out, they were, uh, they, they replaced, well, they didn't replace, but they emphasized the use of machine pistols, shotguns, and launchers for your second, uh, weapon. <coughs> and a lot of people li like the idea of having fully automatic guns other than semis, so people just, you know, stuck to using, um, those, and because a fully automatic gun takes less skill, ooh, dead, than a uh, semi-automatic gun, people's accuracy, in my opinion, kind of like overall decreased. At least the people that, um, you know, kept using um, machine pistols because, what the fuck? Oh, he knew that they were shooting. Nice. Merrick saved my ass. So like, you know, since I've been playing Call of Duty 4, and all the subsequent Call of Duty before because you used a lot of semi-automatic guns in those games as well, um, you know, I've always known how to use semi-automatic guns, and because semi-automatic guns, you have to time, or I mean, place your shots more accurately, it does increase your general accuracy and reaction time, in my opinion, on how to, uh, you know, aim properly, so you don't have to do this, you don't have to spray and pray, you just, you know, do, uh, something like this. It seems like the rate of fire in this game is less, the single player is less than, than the multiplayer. A little bit, ooh. That knee, that knee. Quiet! <laughs> Wait. Shut it down, kid. Well, how, how would I shut it down? How do I shut it down? What do I do? Well, I was looking for it. The big red button, my favorite button. Kill him. Get out of here. I'm gonna put you out of your misery because you're gonna die. Oh, he's already dead. Never mind. Didn't we do an oil rig mission in Monolith 2? Well, actually, this one's more explorative. This one goes to uh, more of the oil rig than uh, Monolith 2 did. And that mission was pretty tough, too. Now that I remember, it was one of the last missions we were doing. Oh crap. Merrick, protect me! You will be my shield. Human shield. Oh, speaking of human shields, did anyone see Walking Dead, the, the mid season finale? Freaking Daryl. <laughs> Man, I knew when they cut that, that Daryl was gonna live, because I knew they just did that as a, like, a stunt to get people really like hyped up about Daryl. And it was a smart decision, a really good idea. Because he is the most popular character on the show. Um, spoiler, um, if you have not watched The Walking Dead this season, I suggest you mute this until like a minute in, because, uh, in comes spoilers, uh, yeah, something about Herschel. I kind of saw that he was going to die, I knew it, I knew it, because he did so much this season, and he's been around for a long time, so I knew that Herschel was going to die, it's just that, you know, it doesn't make it feel any better. I just hope he doesn't come back as a zombie, even the zombie head, I hope that. You know, just spare him that fate of at least being a zombie head. Because, uh, as far as I know, he didn't actually kill the brain, just cut off the head. Which, because the governor's a crazy, stupid, crazy person. <coughs> okay. Let's go. Perhaps. Here, maybe? No. Where do we go? Where do we go? That was fast. This looks like uh, just a run. Oh, hi. I'll just spare you guys the agony of dying. Like, asphyxiation. Oh, crap. Smoke too strong. I see you. Oh, I can't go up there. Maybe I can. I can't. This is so weird. Where'd that guy go? Whoa! There we go. Whoa! 
Oh, damn. Okay. Oh! Oh! I haven't died yet on this mission. I'm not gonna die. Keeping a clean record here. See you. I see you. Silly Federation. Okay. It's so hard to tell enemies here because all those backgrounds so like distorted. Kind of. It's hard to tell what's a human. Thankfully, they're wearing white camo, so kind of helps out. You know, I heard that white camo doesn't really work that well, even in snow. I heard like gray and black more work more. Not exactly sure I'm gonna my hero. Oh! Get those MGs down. What MGs? Oh. Ow! Oh. Okay, how do I do this? I'm gonna back up here. Take it off in the distance. There we go. Oh, we're still going through the mission. I thought we were extracting. You maintain, the water pressure. You maintain the water pressure. How do I do this? Where's Hesh? Whatever. Get that body off the console. Let's finish the job. Keep the pressure in the green while I overload the. Oh, what? Stick for down. Oh. In the green, Logan. Hold okay, together. Here we go. Keep us out of the red. Oh, it's kind of like a mini game. It's kind of like a mini game. Oh. 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 Oh, it's actually pretty strong. Okay, there we go. We got it. <laughs> that mini game. Okay, okay, okay. I bet Merrick's gonna die at some point. Woo, Jesus, it's crazy. Reminds me a lot of COD 4's first mission ending. The, the oil tanker mission. Kigano! Oh! Whoa, how did I reach that? How the hell? Wow, this is some crazy stuff. That's crazy.